Welcome back, everybody, um, of Sport Federation TV. Um, and uh, nice to have you along. And, of course, uh, you will know that before the break, we were catching up with uh, Elton Davids, who is no stranger to Sport Federation TV. Elton is still on the line with us. Um, what you're giving us here now is a whole snapshot of almost an exclusive behind the scenes of what it is that it means to prepare for the Olympics. Um, uh, the kind of information most people ordinarily wouldn't wouldn't know about the kind of things that we see in the newspaper of well that's pretty much what we see is we see the headlines in the newspaper athletes getting ready for the olympics but clearly behind the scenes it's a daily process lots of logistics yeah jp um there's uh, tons of information that gets flowed between uh Sascock, uh me as the continuer to the to the a the athletes be the, the coaches um Third party uh, parties like um, we needed to do vaccines, we needed to do a safeguarding course, we needed to do a medical uh, exam, physical exam, both athletes and and managers. So from that perspective, it uh, it was a lot of paperwork, and we almost at the end of it. Um, today I got another four emails from Sascock saying, please can you complete X, Y, and Z um, by by next week. So it's it's tons of tons of admin in terms of as an example because we are. We, we have an external component to our sport. We need to plan for extra weight. So um, the bike mechanics must get their sizes of their toolboxes, the weights, what's in it. Um, the riders must get the size of their and the dimensions of their bike bags, how many they're taking, what's in it. Each rider will bring a set of rollers, which is an additional warm-up tool. Um, that's to put your bicycle on to ride. That's not the roller for, for recovery. Uh, we're taking two massage beds. So it's all of those things need to be accounted for, and there's, I've got a, uh, I've become an expert at Excel just to keep track of all these things and, and all these different spreadsheets. I'm assuming, of course, that a lot of this information flows from the International Olympic Committee, where they are sending out information to the various nations that are participating about the protocols. Um, you mentioned safeguarding. That, for example, is an Olympic protocol and is, is, is being spread around the world. So you've got your South African element that you have to deal with, but at the same time, South Africa has to fit into the national standard. 100%. Sorry, international standard. <laughs> Then we've still got the international component from our federation. So as an example, uh -huh. our uh, track manager had to had to list every item that the athletes are bringing in from a track perspective. Um, so if you're using how many sets of wheels you're taking, what's the brand of wheels, how many spokes, um, what's the saddle you're using, because it's only approved equipment is allowed at the Olympics. Same for road cycling. There's only approved equipment that gets used. No prototypes, no uh, fancy stuff. So it's all of those kinds of things that uh, that needs to be taken into account on a uh, on a daily basis to a degree, and you have to upload all that stuff all the time onto the various uh, portals. Sounds like there's a tremendous amount of work, Elton, and it's it's it's, a, it's been a it's been a. Um a revealing conversation to find out all of these logistics the kind of things that I think most people are probably not aware of most people think you just simply jump on an aeroplane and go and compete but uh, behind the scenes yeah. clearly a tremendous amount of admin um, Elton one of the things of course one of the most important components right now is um, COVID safety um, um, and we we know that uh, we're asking everybody in the world everybody in South Africa everybody at club level to take the virus very seriously and to do the best that they can to help the spreading of the prevention of COVID. Are there any messages that you have in terms of that for for the public that are watching the show right now? Look, uh, JP, the biggest, the biggest concern for me is people still uh, not wearing a mask or face covering. Um, whether it's a mask or whether it is a buff, stay protected. Um, I've, I've, we've adopted a, a principle at home where the minute you come in from outdoors, you take off everything, you go shower, um, nothing's changed um, from that perspective. It's, it's those kinds of simple um, strategies that you need to employ within yourself. Um, if I, if I, the minute I stop at a garage and I put petrol in, I sanitize my car that I use to pay for the petrol. Um, I clean my hands, or sa um, sanitize my hands. It's, it's all those engagements that we take for granted um, I buy groceries, I sanitize the groceries before I bring it into the house because I don't know who's touched it or where it's been. Yeah. Um, so it's all of those kinds of things to keep us safe um, more than anything else. So, the so, yeah, I need, I need, 
that go, JP? No, the message clearly coming out here that we need to take this very seriously and that we can't become complacent. Absolutely. I mean, we looked at the graph uh, this morning, but the summer period um, in the trajectory in, in wave two, there was 1,500 cases. Um, now we're on 10,000 positive cases. So exponentially, the third wave is, is a lot uh, a bigger and, and has a lot more damaging effect. Um, and, I, and I still think that it's, it's the, the, the reporting is not 100% accurate in my personal view. Um, because I know many people who, who don't even go to hospital, don't get tested. I mean, now in the Western Cape, they're not testing anybody under under 45, as an example. So how do we know that the stats are correct? Um, so we need to be even more vigilant, even though the stats are is what it is right now. I think it's just a, a tip of the iceberg of what is actually happening in communities. Elton, then just a final question. Um, we, of course, know that the Olympic athletes and yourself uh, management and so on, everybody that's traveling to Japan um, has been vaccinated or is in the process of getting vaccinated in, in preparation for the Olympics. Um, how important is it for, for people to register in South Africa for the vaccination and actually get the vaccination? Uh, JP, uh, we've all had, um, because of the, 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 the time delay or the shortened period, We've all had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine um, because obviously the other vaccine requires a double dose within 42 days and we're not going to be here 42 days time. So we've all had, um, as many of us who have chosen to, to have the vaccine have done it, um, but it's not a foolproof system. It's a, it's a precautionary as best as it can be. Um, the, the virus is mutating all the time. So as I said earlier, we need to really protect ourselves at every point uh, of contact with anybody as best we can all the time. Wear a mask, sanitize, um, and, and, and think of, of yourself as, as, as a potential carrier. How would you protect your family? Um, and that's the message that I live by. Elton, thanks for the conversation. It's been great catching up with you again. We hope to have a, a catch up with you again before you depart for, for Tokyo. And again, congratulations on your appointment on both levels. And we, of course, say to you and the team and everybody else out there, stay safe. And um, we look forward to our next conversation. Thanks, JP. Thanks for the opportunity. There we go, folks. Elton Davids, uh, General Secretary of um, uh, Cycling South Africa. He's got his hands full at the moment, preparing for the Tokyo Olympics. And of course, Elton, no stranger to Sports Federation TV. He himself has been a presenter on the show for many, many years. And uh, it's fantastic for us to see um, that he is representing South Africa um, at the Olympics this year. And we wish him the absolute very best. And uh, just to go uh, further emphasize, folks, the words of what he has just said to you is to please remember to wear your mask at all times, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and just uh, for you to also remember to wear your mask in the correct manner. When you wear the mask, please cover your mouth and your nose. Wear it over to cover your face properly. This is what makes the mask more effective. Take it seriously and, uh, of course, uh, register for the vaccination as soon as possible. Folks, we'll take an ad break. When we come back from the break, we'll carry on talking about sport in the Western Cape. Back in a sec.